Hey, this is Saflevavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of Come On, Get Higher. First, I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes. And then we're going to learn it step by step, lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this. Enjoy. Alright, so we're going to divide this into six short parts. The intro, the verse, the second verse, the chorus, the bridge, and the sha-la-la-la-la part, which is the outro of the bridge. So uh, let's start with the intro. The intro slowly goes like this. Right? Twice. So it's F sharp minor 7. D sus2 and A. We're gonna go over the chords as we learn them. So we start with F sharp minor 7, which is an open E string, 2 and 2 on strings 2 and 3, and 2 on the bass string. Okay, 2 on the E bass string. So we get this. Okay? This is F sharp minor seven. Now you can put it like this. You can put it like this. You can use your thumb, okay? Sometimes for some people that's more comfortable. So um, the rhythm is pretty basic. It's bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, bass, chord. Okay, pretty simple. Bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, bass, chord. Now I know that it sounds ridiculous when I call it out, but you know, I have to teach it somehow. So um, by chord, I mean strings one, two, and three together. So the first bar is divided in half because the first half is F sharp minor seven, and then you play D sus two. So for F sharp minor seven, you play bass chord, bass chord, chord. And then right away, you take the finger off of the bass string you push the finger that you're using for the second string, you push it one fret up and you have D sus2. D sus2 is 0, 3, 2, 0. Okay, on strings 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, the D string is your next bass note. And that's what you play. You play bass chord. Okay, on D sus2. So, um, in case you weren't following, F sharp minor 7, bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, D string, and then the 
D sus2 chord. Now, while you play the D string, you have time to push the finger forward on the second string. So you have time to make the transition as you play the bass note. See, as I made the transition, I played the bass note. Or the other way around, uh, that's more correct. Um, the, as I played the bass note, I made the transition into the next chord. So, right? And then you play an A chord and you do exactly the same thing with A. Bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, bass, chord. Okay? On A. Full bar. And that's the intro. You play this twice. The first phrase of the verse goes like this. Right? You start, it's, it's F sharp minor, D and A again, this time without any embellishment. So for F sharp minor, all you do is you bar the second fret with your first finger and you add five on the first string with your pinky with your little finger. So you have this. Okay, this is F sharp minor. Now this isn't any embellishment, it's just another note that's within the F sharp minor chord. It's the third, it's the minor third, and you just play it as a higher note in addition to here on the third string. You have it as well. It's the same note. Okay, so that's your first chord, F sharp minor. And you play this, you play the bass, then you play either the chord three times or the chord once and the E string two more times, okay? Uh, whatever you prefer. Okay, chord or the chord and then two more E strings. Um, again, Make your own choices, make your own arrangements. You can even change this and play something else. You can do, hey, if it sounds good to you. Uh, so that's the first lick. And then uh, you turn this into D5. Um, you keep the pinky on five on the E string, three on the second string, two on the third string, and you have D5. You play it. And then open E string, then um, seven on the E string, and then five on the E string again with your pinky because you have to bar the second fret again up to the fourth string this time because you need the open A string. You're coming back to A. Okay, this is A. Uh, five, two, 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 zero. So what we did was this, D5, open E string, 7, and then back to 5, put the bar back on up to the 4th string, and then you play the rest of the rhythm. So it's bass chord, bass chord, so it sounds like this. Okay, you play the chord this time using strings 2, 3, and 4, because this note becomes the melody. So right? So the whole phrase is this F sharp minor D5 you can slide to the seven and then five again put A on and play this bass chord bass chord chord bass chord okay the rhythm and then you play it again F sharp minor again, and then this, okay, so F sharp minor, exactly the same way, and then 10, 9 on the E string, along with the D string, and then 10 on the second string, then this, 7 and 7 on strings 1 and 3, then the A bass, 
Then five on the first string and six on the third string. Okay, now this becomes an A chord. This is an outline of an A chord. Um, you have the same notes in the full A chord when you bar it on five. So we just pick and choose a couple of notes to outline the chord instead of playing the full chord. So again, 10, 9, and then 10 on the second string, 7 and 7 on the strings 1 and 3, A, and then 5 and 6 on strings 1 and 3. So we get this. Okay? And then F sharp minor again. Okay, so you play the E string first on five, and then the chord, and then the E string twice more, and then five again, then ten nine again with the D string, and then seven on the first string, nine on the third string with the E bass note. Okay, so you get this. Um, Now, if this was A, then this is E. We just pick and choose strings um, from this E chord. So, right? And that's the first verse. Okay, so let's go over the last line again. Okay, then five again. Ten, nine. Seven on one and nine on the third string with the E bass. So what we get is the first verse. F sharp minor, D, A. second verse. Now the second verse starts out like this. Okay, so you bar strings one and two on the fifth fret and you play the first E string by itself and then strings one, three, and four. And then strings one and two again. And so you get this. And then you keep the bar on, you add a finger on seven on the first string, and you play strings one and two again. And then you take the finger off, and you play five and five again. Okay, so basically, the second string is harmonizing the melody. The melody is, it's five, 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 seven, five on the E string, and you harmonize it with the second string. So, Okay, this time with D, and then the second time it's with A, and there's a slight difference. It's okay, it's five, 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 seven, seven. So you play the E string by itself, and then first and second strings with the A string, and then again, then seven, seven, with five on the second string, harmonizing it. Okay, again. The explanations sometimes are way more complicated than the actual playing. This is a very, very simple lick. Okay, it's just putting on a finger and taking it off. That's it. That's basically it. Um, so that's the first phrase. And then it's this. Okay, it's again five 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 seven five, but this time with F sharp minor. So you put this back on and you play the E string, then the chord, then five seven, and then the chord again. 
and then this. It's five on the first string, seven on the third string, and you play those once, then you play them the second time with the E bass, and then you play them again. Then you slide them to seven and nine, and you play those twice. The second time you can play the E bass note again. So it's... Now let's play everything together. D. And then A. You can play the bass again at the end of the bar. And then F sharp minor. That's the second verse. Now, the chorus. The chorus starts like this. You bar strings one, two, and three on the second fret, and you add five on the second string. So you play strings two and three on five and two, and you get this. You play them with the D string, then you play them without the D string. You take the five off, you're left with the bar, and you play strings two and then three. Okay, so you get this. And then you play the same thing again with the A string. Now, to get the right um, syncopation here, play strings two and three first and then play the A bass. So you get this. Okay? So the first time around it's along with the D string. Second time around it's chord first, then A, then the chord. And then two and two on strings two and three. So, to get the feel of it, I'll play it um, in speed. See? It's da 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 See, the second time around, it comes right before the beat. da 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 So, um, that's the first line, and you play that twice. play this. You put on D sus2 again. You play strings 2, 3, and 4, and then you play 2 and 2 on strings 2 and 3, then you take the finger off of the second string and you're left with 0 and 2, and then you play, you play it again, and then you play A, and then you play the third string. Okay, so you get this. Three, two, zero, zero, A, um, third string. Okay? Okay? This is what it sounds like. Again, sometimes slowing really, really simple licks down makes them unintelligible. So, three, two, zero, zero, A string, third string by itself. Okay? 3 to 0 on the second string, harmonized by th uh, 2 on the third string. Okay, don't forget the D string at the beginning. Okay, D, A. And then the third string again, and then this. It's D over F sharp to E. So for D over F sharp, you play the D sus2 chord again. You add the thumb or your finger, whichever is more comfortable for you, uh, on the second fret of the bass. Okay, so you get D over F sharp. Um, actually, because you have the open E string and you play it, 
uh, it's actually D add nine over F sharp, if you want to get technical about it. So you play this, strings two, three, and six, open E string, then you play two and two again on strings two and three, but then you take them off, you put one, okay, the first fret on the third string, and you play strings two and three on zero and one, and to finish it off, you play the E bass string. Now this is an outline of the E chord because this is E, but we don't need these two fingers. So we play like this. Okay? So the chorus again. D, A, again. D sus2. And then this is this is A sus2. So D sus2 to A sus2. And then D add 9 over F sharp to E. Then again, okay? and then you have the bridge. Okay, then you play the verse again, then you play the chorus again, and then you have a bridge. Now the bridge is relatively easy. It's this. The same lick twice and a half. So the D bass string, then two, 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 two on the third string, two on the fourth string, then four, two on the third string. Now you can hammer it on, you can slide it again, do whatever feels right. And then you do the same thing, but instead of the open D string as, uh, as your bass note, you play the F sharp bass note. And then you play the A bass note. And then you play two, 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 and two. And then add another fifth two at the end there. Uh, this is an A note, so you add a fifth A to it. Um, because saying a fifth two makes no sense. So D and then F sharp, A. And then you take this finger down a fret, you play one on the third string, the E bass, then two on the fourth string. Okay, so this is basically E. On the second string four times and then D then the E string so you basically get a D sus2 chord again okay outlining it so and then F sharp minor you can put the whole chord on and just play it Okay, three times, or play strings three, um, no, sorry, strings two, six, three, three. Okay, or just the chord. Okay, whichever you prefer. Um, and then this. E, you play the E string, then you play the bass, then you play the full chord, strings one, two, and three, and then do it again, and then seven, seven on the E string, or if you want to harmonize, use what we played earlier, seven and nine on strings one and three, and then go right back to E, and play the chord again, okay, so bass, and then 
so what you got was this um, D F sharp A E D sus2 now again you can play the chord in any way you want put make sure you put a finger on uh, the second fret of the third string to complete the chord and you can play the rhythm you can do it like this okay but you don't have that much time to do it because you need to make the transition into F sharp minor pretty soon so I just play the E string once again or the chord and then F sharp minor and then E the shalalala part um, which I kind of adapted into this okay? and then you play that four times so it's just two three on the set on the second string yeah that was right uh, two three on the second string open E string two on the third string play it first with the F sharp minor bass, then with the D bass, then with the A bass, and then you play E and you can play the second string by itself along with the E bass or strings 2, 3, 4, and 6. Okay? And you play that four times, F sharp, D, slide it okay then a then e f sharp minor d a e and then i play the chorus again and end on a now you can end on the normal a chord or you can do this um what i do uh which is five on the e string open second string, six on the third string, seven on the fourth, and the open A bass. So you can strum it, you can pick it, you can do both. You can be extravagant about it. Okay, go down, up, down, if you want. Um, or find your own version. Uh, that's always the best option in my opinion. You make your own arrangement. So before you go, practice this. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons already waiting for you and I take requests. Uh, this was a request and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you also go download the tab. The link is right below in the description and it's for free. Everything is for free right here on Lick and Riff, including this lesson and every other lesson but if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff anyway there's a large blue donation button right above the tab you can't miss it and everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making these lessons these arrangements perfecting them writing them down editing the lessons filming the lessons it all takes time and work so I appreciate any help you want to give out and I thank you in advance for any donation so, you go practice this, have fun, and remember, make your own arrangement. This is really open to interpretation. You can do so much with this. Um, mine is a pretty basic version, so I trust you to make an even better one. And if you do, send me a video. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.